The Marion Finucane Show on RTE Radio 1. Now, I'm going to talk to a gentleman across the way uh, who's been involved very much in anticipating our commemoration of the 1916 Rising. And I was told not to say to him, why don't you just get Neeson? Do you know who you should talk to? Why have you not done this? You'd want to hurry up because 2016 is coming. Do you not have the money yet? Do you want to answer all those in the one go? I'm glad that we've got those out of the way, Marion, yes, because <laughs> I, I've been hearing them for the last four years. Um, making a film on 1916 is a, is, is, is a challenge and you encounter many different uh, opinions and many different wonderful people along the path. I should remind people that you did made the boys of St. Columns. They will remember that because of John Hume and Shane Massini and Phil Coulterne. Yeah, yeah, and we remember Seamus Heaney, who 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 was uh, uh, two years uh, since he passed away last weekend. Um, yes, certainly, uh, I produced the boys of St. Columns for RTE and BBC, and my current project is 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 the rising, the 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 first motion picture on the on on the rebellion. Uh, I, I I started out on this in in two thousand and twelve, uh, and I presumed at that point that there may be three or four movies being done. Yeah, I mean, so many fascinating characters, a very important. Uh, period in our time. Um, I realise now, four years later or three years later, that uh, we are the the only horse in the race, as it were. And, and next year is uh, a market uh, and an audience for a film that, that really want to, to, to learn. Because one of the important things that I've discovered here in Ireland, and, and especially on my trips in, in, in the United States, most people do not know what happened in 1916. They're not really aware of why it happened. And I think that's critical that, that we examine this. In Very a, controversial, too, because, of course, everybody tried to be making, playing politics and de- working to their own advantage in this. It started out with research on Sean McDermott. Yeah, Sean McDermott is from County Leitrim. Um, he was the... Some people have described him as the mastermind of the of the revolution. He was the the, the quiet one in the background who was uh, working very closely with the person most responsible for the Easter Rising, who was Tom Clark. And Clark and and McDermott were the, if you like, the, the background to it. Pierce, uh, an extremely important figure, as well as Countess Markovich and Connolly. Um, but McDermott. Because I, I'm from County Cavan, uh, right? If that's I okay. thought I caught the whiff of an accent yeah. there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been slightly tempered by, <laughs> by by my many meetings in the last few years. But um, I am from County Cavan, and and Leitrim is is the next county over. And I, I I felt it was my duty to look at the local man's story. And initially, I did not know. What happened in the Easter Rising? If you asked me five years ago who was Sean McDermott, to my shame, Marion, I would not have been able to tell you. Now I'm able to tell you and proudly able to tell you that I believe he is one of the most significant people in Irish history. And I've been working very closely with a great team here in Ireland and in the United States. I have the support of the Irish Film Board, Northern Ireland Screen in Belfast. I'm very thankful to say Leitrim County Council have been very kind as well as Cavan County. Council in supporting me and also all the the, the the fans of our social media which has been running actually it's interesting that 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 during this show we may cross over into uh, 20,000 Facebook fans so maybe if your listeners are on Facebook go to 1916 movie and you could be the uh, 20,000 uh, f- follower of our of our Facebook page you, you have probably done the biggest pub crawl in the history of pub calls right across the states. Yeah, yes indeed I have. That's been that's been quite a trip. Well, my initial uh, inquiry to the to the uh, film board uh, wasn't successful and and uh, there was some uh, uh, peculiar response to to this uh, story that I had written. I mean Sean McDermott is the son of a farmer who cha- who took on the world's largest empire and was executed for it. Uh. Uh, that's not the story for a wonderful uh, unit universal uh, motion picture I don't know what is so what took you to the pubs well I just had a feeling that there there are many people in the United States Irish Americans who have done very well the uh, perception of 1916 is different in the United States than it is here in Ireland and I thought that it would be quite easy 
to um, go in and convince people, here's a story that needs to be done. You, you have a chance of making some money because as an, as an investor, you know, you could... Why not? I mean, the wind that shakes the barley made 25 million. The Magdalene sisters made 21 million. These are other independent Irish films. And those films do not have the advantage of all this marketing that is being done a year in advance. People are going to be talking about 1916, 1916. And where is the film? Ours, The Rising. Uh, the Rising is the only movie that would satisfy that, 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 that audience. You went around with the begging bowl, didn't you? Essentially, yes. Bars, Irish bars. Initially, bars of 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 Manhattan. I would go into the bars, and I I, I don't drink at the moment. I, I I stopped drinking about about four four years ago. So, um, I may take a drink when when the when the film is done. You can join me for a glass of champagne. Very at kind. The, at the, Thank at the, you. Uh, um, I can I can put put to bed any 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 asper- any uh, misconceptions about Calvin generosity by 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 buying you a glass of champagne on the night. Um, yeah, no, we we went from bar to bar, all of these Irish American bars, and yeah, people clap you on the back and say fair play to you, and we support you. But when it comes to actually making the contribution, it's very, very, it's a completely different story. And I have been very impressed and very let down by by, by an awful lot of people, and it's you know. I'm not surprised by it, and I, I suppose yes, I am. I, I have been interested in raising the the finance for this movie. And, and what are you and looking for? Two two and a half million. And what have you got? I've got about half of that, mostly based in the United States. But we're talking to people in in, in Ireland. There are people that are um, uh, contacting us on, on on a regular basis. They're looking at our documentation and they're seeing is it something that they will invest invest in. We're looking. I mean, essentially, uh, our, our pitch for the last little while has been a uh, hundred people to remember a uh, hundred years since since the rebellion, and that's that strategy has been going quite successful. Uh, we've just rebranded our our our, our website. Uh, maybe maybe your listeners would, would would be able to get give us some feedback as to whether it's working or not. Uh, TheRising.ie. Uh, we've got some uh, lovely new images there. Uh, so perhaps if you visit that TheRising.ie, you can you can tell us if we're if we're on the right track. Tell me the cast. The cast. Well, uh, it's I've. One of the most pleasing things is the fact that uh, the script that that we have written, uh, Colin Broderick and I, Colin is a a fascinating uh, writer from based in New York, and he and I have written a script um, that is working, I'm very pleased to say. Uh, Liam Neeson's son will be making his debut in the film, playing the role of Michael Collins, which we are very, very pleased about. And, And Liam has read the script as well and is... Uh, very impressed with it. Uh, says it's full of heart and is supportive of his son. I was talking to his son two nights ago, and he was uh, in in good form. Looking forward to our production. And who else is in it? Jonathan Rhys Myers would be playing Podrick Pierce. Uh, the wonderful uh, Fiona Shaw sat with me in a in a London cafe a couple of weeks ago for two hours talking about uh, her 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 wish to per, uh, um, portray Countess Markovic and Fiona is such a wonderful person and a great actor. Sean McDermott will be played by I think. Uh, one of Ireland's greatest actors, or, or certainly will be, and that is Colin Morgan. Uh, he was in the lead in in the BBC series Merlin. Mm-hmm. Colin is fascinating. The other two characters that we have are James Connolly will be portrayed by the Scotsman David O'Hara, who people will remember from Braveheart, playing the the the, St- uh, the Stephen character, and also Brendan Coyle from Downton Abbey will be playing Augustine Burrell, the Chief Secretary of nice. Ireland. So we're, we're we're so happy to be working with these when people. When he's starting to shoot. January, February is when the actors have been told and the investors are knowing that this is when we want to right. to shoot in, in Ireland and in Estonia. And in Estonia. Yes. Right. Well, I wish you every success. I mean, you're certainly determined. I have to tell you that. Well, you four ha- you, years. You have to be. I was just talking to Larry Gogan on the on the on the uh, on the on the corridor there, and his father was in the Easter Rising, and he was very excited about the about the film, as as we all are. And might I just add that we will be making one more announcement tomorrow in the Sunday Business Post on the front page, right. so people to watch out for that. Okay. Now, the. Um but I leave it at that for the moment. You have how much to go to get what you want? 
About uh, a million and a half is right. about a million two or something like that. Around that, around that, I haven't we're checked. Used, we're used to those zeros now, you know. Yes, yeah. Well, I haven't checked. Maybe, maybe the bank account has has increased <laughs> since we've true. been on the air. You never know. Okay, listen, Kevin McCann. I wish you well and thank you very much indeed. The Marion Fanukin Show on RTE Radio One. <laughs> 